Sunday night on the streets, I got hit. I mean, I didn't get hit by a car. I, got, I mean, I got physically hit. I got punched. I've always told Debbie, I figured one of these Sunday nights is going to be my last Sunday night. And I always figured it'd be by gunshot or something like that. I've been in front of guns several times. I'm um, in fast food restaurants on the way to the streets, in front of robberies, at the border, 10 and 12 guys at a time. I had guns pointed at me probably more times than most police officers have had guns pointed at them. And not fun, but it's happened. And, you know, you make it through it. I've been held over barrels that are on fire with guys with boards and nails hanging over me and threatening me. But up until now on the streets, I'd never had anyone punch me. It was my own fault. We were laughing, friends half my age, guys in their 30s, one of them said, man, anyone pinches me for St. Patrick's Day and I reached in to kind of give him a little tweak and just as I did, he just reached out and just hammered me right in the chest and everything and I was twice his age and it would take me down and, and it did. It took me straight down, I mean, just like a tree getting cut down, I went over. And as I went down, I thought of three lessons that each of us have to learn when we're getting knocked down. First thing is this. I thought to myself, this is gonna hurt to hit the ground. And it did, I hit my hip first, right on my wallet, it hurt like the dickens. I thought, oh, is that broken? Then I hit my shoulder and my head, and then I just whacked flat completely. It hurt. Second thing I thought about was, oh, my phone, it had been knocked straight into the air. And as I came down, here it came down right on top of me and I was able to capture it right on my chest. Third thing I thought about was everyone who was watching. I'm very, very fortunate that after over 30 years on the streets, I'm loved by a lot of people. And I thought, uh-oh, this could go badly. And I looked back just as I was hitting the ground and there were a lot of people moving forward in the line. And so I did what we always need to do when life knocks us down. I tried my very best to jump right back up because I realized that people were gonna be coming and it could cause a fight on the streets. And I needed to get up just as quickly as possible and make it clear that this was not anybody's fault but my own, that this happened. And so Amari, the guy who hit me, he felt horrible. He was reaching out his hand. Everyone was coming down, reaching out their hands. I took it and I was, I'm hurting this morning as I run. I was hurting a lot then. And it was strange, this instant stomach ache hit me. I just kind of felt all over. and. Um, but I stood up, I smiled, I laughed. I said, you hit me, Amari. I hugged him, he apologized. And people in line said it was okay. They were yelling. I said, hey, I'm okay, I'm okay. And I felt great to be loved. And I realized in life, when you go down, you need to realize it's gonna hurt. Don't try to tell yourself any other way. It's gonna hurt when you go down. Number two, keep an eye on that which is important to you as you go down. Because realize you're taking that which is important to you with you. And you wanna protect it as much as you can even though you're going down. And third, keep an eye on everything that's going on around you. Because everything that's going on around you is still going on around you even though you're going down. And you don't want it to go to pot while you're going down. Now these guys happen to have been smoking a lot of pot, which may have exacerbated the hit. And I remember Amari saying to me, oh man, pastor, People always tell me I don't know my own strength. He's half my age, he's a lot bigger than me, and he doesn't know his own strength. But I'm twice his age, and I should have been smart enough not to enter into a young man's game. I should have realized, ah, I need to stay back in this moment. But there it was, and I jumped in just the same. Just as Amari was leaving Sunday night, he came up to me, he apologized again, he told me a story about his grandfather, and then he said this. He said, Pastor Eric, you're gonna milk this for all it's worth, aren't you? And I said, Amari, as long as we're friends, I plan on reminding you of the time that you knocked me down, because I haven't been knocked down since I was a kid. He said, oh, I knew it, I knew it, and he walked off into the night. And I laughed about what it meant to have someone who loves you and that you love them. And then when that moment comes that you're knocked down and it's maybe a mutual default or maybe, I mean, obviously he shouldn't have hit me. Maybe more his fault that there could still be that bond of, oh man, we're gonna carry this together. You know, when we're knocked down, no one gets knocked down alone. We carry it together. Today, if you feel like you're flat on your back, 
if you feel like somehow life just left you out there, I mean, remember that, yeah, if you hurt, going down does hurt. Remember that that which is valuable is still up in the air. Catch it, protect it, and then keep an eye on those that are around you in your sphere of influence. They're watching out for you, and it's your job to protect them now, to get back up, to get back to work, and to get going again, put a smile on your face and do everything you can to keep going. When you take a hard hit, those are the three lessons you need to remember. Now, can you milk it if you want to? You can. If it's some, You can, just for the fun of it. But remember, it's not necessary. And maybe grace allows us just to let it go. And move on to that next step in life. God bless you. Stay motivated. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are not the number one motivational YouTube channel yet, but boy, we're somewhere near the bottom, which means we're looking up and have got a long way to go, and you can be a part of that. Make sure to share it with your friends. Have a fantastic day.